Hello and welcome. In the last couple of weeks, if you've been following the announcements that, that have been coming out of Fabcon, the Fabric Conference, there have been a bunch of announcements. But one thing that stands out for me, at least in my mind, which will be a game changer in the future, is data mirroring. Now, what is data mirroring? Data mirroring is basically data replication with no code, no ETL, and you are able to re replicate data from your data source into Fabric. Now let's see how this can be done. Now I'm in a Fabric workspace, and if you notice under the warehouse experience, we have the option to create mirror for Azure SQL, Snowflake, and Azure Cosmos DB. Uh, if you don't see these options, then you need to work with your admin, or if you have access to the admin portal, go to the admin portal, search up mirror, and you need to enable this feature. Now let's see how easy it is to mirror a SQL database or Azure SQL database. So I select the option, give it a name, and then click Create. The next thing I saw was an option to create the configuration or the connection to my Azure SQL database, which I went ahead and did. And once I do that, I get to the screen where I configure the mirroring. Now it, I can mirror all the tables within my database, or I can pick the tables that I would like to mirror. Um, now notice I see only tables. I do not see option to mirror views. But anyway, so now when I click mirror database, it'll start the process of configuring the mirroring mirroring of the data. Now you'll be, you'll, next thing you'll see the screen, it says mirroring Azure SQL database is starting. Once it is configured, you will see the monitor replication light up and then you, you'll be able to monitor the replication process. There you go, it lights up. And then once I click monitor replication, it takes a little while for it to show up about 60 seconds, but we'll wait and see what happens next. Now it's been about 30 to 60 seconds. Then now this is what I see on my screen that the replication is in progress and we'll wait for a, a minute or two and see uh, once, the, once the replication is complete, how the screen looks. And it depends on the volume of data, how long this process takes. And this is a screen that you would see once the replication is complete. It shows the number of rows in each of the tables and then the status is running because the replication is data replication is a continuous process it's real time and as it runs you'll see the status here running and if there's an error i've not run into an error but if there is an, a status error i would i would assume one of these will show error and then you can come and work through it all right so that's the, that's monitoring of replication but once the data is ready we can uh, use a sql endpoint uh, and actually query the data uh, using tsql we can even uh, do joins across different uh, mirror database and lake house or you know various combination whatever data you have in uh, your fabric you can always join or use notebooks and so forth and of course uh, you get you get the model uh, data set uh, data model already in play so you can quickly build your reports uh, and this is uh, this uh, enables direct lake feature so imagine your data is updated in your source data source and it is replicated and the report is uh, refreshed in real time so this uh, this is what data mirroring brings to the table so that's why i think this is something this is a huge feature uh, and will have real impact in the, in the next coming few months once it goes ga and this just to let you know this product is right now in public preview. And like I mentioned, the sources that are supported right now is Azure SQL, Azure Cosmos DB, and Snowflake, and hoping new sources are added in the near future. And a few things to be aware of with data mirroring is uh, DDL is supported, which uh, means that if you change any columns or add a new column, take out columns with mirror table, data mirroring is smart enough to know that, know that you have added or deleted a column. So that's pretty cool. Views are not supported at this point. And this is, I'm talking in terms of Azure SQL. I've not worked with Snowflake or Cosmos DB at this point. And uh, one thing to be cognizant of is the impact on the data source when you enable mirroring. So if you're working with a production data source and you enable mirroring, there, there will be some kind of impact in terms of performance of your production data source because with data mirroring, there'll be some kind of pinging that's happening periodically. Uh, so be aware of that. Try to test this in your test non-production environment first. And even in production, ideally you would want a report server and a production server and this mirroring happens out of your report server. And from the admin perspective, there are a few stored procedures and DMBs that are available, which will help uh, monitor these uh, data mirroring jobs. Let's try out some of this commands here. If I make execute the stored procedure on my data source, it lists tables that are being uh, mirrored and also the state. Uh, if the state is four, it means everything is good. If the number is 
something other than four, that means there is an error. Now, uh, this command, what it uh, does is it provides a list of uh, log scan sessions. And if there's any errors, uh, we could, uh, this will help identify it. And this last command basically lists the errors. Right now, I do not have any, so it's blank, but otherwise you'll get a, get an error number with an error message, so that'll help with debugging. Now, as this product evolves, there are a few things that I would like to see in this, uh, in data mirroring. One of the key things is, yes, there is some kind of monitoring, but I would like to see uh, some kind of alerts in case of failure, so as an admin, if I, have a bunch of different data sources being mirrored. And by different individuals, I would like some kind of alerts to know what's happening or even better if I've got some kind of an admin portal where I can see what's happening, who's mirrored, which tables, which databases. Uh, some kind of a high level monitoring view would be really nice. And of course, uh, as it evolves, you know, the more number of data sources that's added, uh, it, it gives so much more options and especially a data source like SAP, some kind of ERP system. Where, and in my mind, SAP is the uh, is the primary ERP system used in any, any you know, top Fortune 500 company. So if that is supported, I, I think that'll be a huge game changer. Uh, and, you know, SAP is supported with Empower BI. SAP has a connector, but it is, it has its issues with the, with that connector. Uh, and one of the reason being SAP is treated as a multidimensional data source in Power BI connector in, in direct query mode. Whereas here in data mirroring, SAP could be a relational data source and similar to SQL Server, and especially SAP HANA. And if you know data mirroring can be enabled on that, this will be a real huge game changer uh, in terms of the volume of data that can be pulled into Fabric and all the other tools that comes with Fabric, uh, imagine the opportunity there. Those are the my thoughts in terms of what, what data mirroring can offer. And as usual, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to